All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Welcome back to the channel. Got some stuff I want to show you today. Today's going to be a little different of a video. So, um, continuing down the Boro device scene, we have a Noct. Um, Noct is pretty big in the Boro scene. They do basically billet, well, what they're known for is billet box style mods that are made out of Ultum, PMMA, and, and materials like that. Um, and they do a different, um, they, they do regular button placement, like where the billet button is, and they also do a side fire button placement. Anyways, uh, go, go find their group and you can see all their mods right in there. Today we have something newer from them. There is um, not too many out as of right now. There's probably a handful that I've already hit public. Um, and I want to show you it. So what we have is the Noct Lipo. Um, real quick, you're going to get one of these little hard shell cases with the Team Noct sticker on it. Inside of it, you're going to get another sticker um warranty card another sticker some of these authenticity stickers for billets and then we have the mod you will also get a flush nut with this which i do like a lot I only use flush nuts. I do not like integrated tips that much. I love flush nuts. They make the best connection in my opinion. So here's the mod. <clears throat> this is the lipo right here. You can say, see it says Team Knocked. This is the frosted, the clear frosted um, rendition. There is a smoked, there's a black, there's an ultim, and then there's a straight clear. DNA 60 chipset. You can see you got your board in there. And I know everyone's already thinking this looks a lot like another mod. I am not here to um, defend or attack any company, whether that be JG's company or Noct's company. I am simply here to do a review on this mod. And because I have a Delro here, I'm going to be directly comparing them so that I can show consumers the differences and possibly which mod they would prefer. So I just want to make that clear. Um, I like both mods. I'm just going to put that out there right now. So you got DNA 60 wattage button here, fire button there. I was a little worried about this button placement at first, but I will show you shortly how I hold it. DNA 60 screens. Some people don't like this, but I really like where the screen is. Here is, you can see through this mod. Um, so you can see the back of the Boro here. There's the LiPo there. The LiPo's got that carbon fiber wrap around the LiPo area. You have your USB-C here, which I have a magnetized charger port in there. You got your airflow right here. And then this is your Boro door. So here's your Boro door, two magnets at the top, slides on the track. I do not have play in mine. Um, I have heard some other people have, but mine is solid. So opening that up, we'll take the door off. You can see your brass contact right there. And then your brass top for your flush nut or your integrated tip. So let's... Let's just go ahead and do it. Um, yeah. So here is a Delro. And uh, the, the stickers on the bottom do not come. They don't come with these. These are done by um, Sturdy. Whatever the hell it's called, I forget. Um, they do the shields and they're pretty nice. <clears throat> so the Noct sitting next to the Delro. The specs on the LiPo batteries are supposed to be the same. The door on the Noct slides up like this. Door on the Delro slides across. Delro you can get in a die codes or DNA 60. This one right here is a die codes. Um, 
and obviously the materials are different. <clears throat> the Delro, the main um, the main um, material used is Delrin, and you can get white or black Delrin. The white was very pretty hard to get up until like last week. They did a drop that had a good amount of them, <clears throat> but you can also get resin versions of these as well. This you can get in the frosted clear, which the Delro to get a clear one, you're going to be very hard to get a clear Delro. They're out there, but market value is super crazy high on them. Um, and there are no Ultim, there's Ultim Delros, but I don't think there's any in the market right now. I think it's just a few specific people have them. You can get this in clear, the frosted in my hand, which I have, Ultim, black, and smoked and they are coming out with some special limited colors <clears throat> you can also get this this only comes in a dna 60 chipset i don't know if they plan to do a die codes down the road but for right now it's just a dna 60. both of these current models right here are usb c <clears throat> so they're equal on that front um you know, your your boros are in the same layout. So your tips are going to be towards the same size, side, sorry. Um, the brass on this, on the Noct, runs a little bit longer. So I do feel that the top of the Delro does look a little cleaner just because that brass insert piece, especially with a 510 whistle tip, is mostly covered up and you can't see it much, but with this one, you can. Um, basically, here's the main differences between the two. Fire button on the Delro is here, wattage button here. Like typical knocked fashion, they put them on the side here. I was a little bit worried about button position on this mod, but I'm gonna show you in a second how I feel about it. This is, this faceplate's interchangeable. This door, you can obviously, when accessories are made, you can get different accessories. And this also comes off here. So when accessories are made, you can change the screen plate as well. So button placement is the first difference, right? And then screen. So your screen is externally displayed on the, the Noct. On the Delro, with stock panels, the Delro screen is covered up. <clears throat> these are aftermarket panels they have a cutout or you can get clear panels so you can see the screen but the way that they come stock you cannot see the screen it is covered up not a big deal the way this panel is designed you can just slide it and look i will give the delro points and i understand you know noct was trying to switch it up just a tiny bit because they didn't want to follow with this identical panel setup <clears throat> with this panel sliding to the side it's easier to fill your boro because you can you can put it right here leave it on slide your boro window down fill it and then just slide it back with the knocked it's a little bit harder to do it um you can see your juice level through these cutouts here on this door i just prefer the sideways mechanism but i think that's because i'm used to it I'm still kind of getting used to this upwards door. I do like it. I like it a lot. I think it's different, cool, but um, I just prefer the sideways door. <clears throat> now, um, so screen placement, button layout. On the Noct, being that it's here, airflow is here. On a Boro mod, airflow is something you have to pay attention to when you're holding the mod. So, trigger finger fire. There's your trigger finger, middle finger on wattage buttons, thumb in the back. You can hold it just like this and fire. Just like that. Very comfortable like this. Or if you want thumb fire it, here you go. Flip it around. Thumb lays right on the button just like this. And then you can hold it with your fingers like this. And make sure you leave that airflow open. Obviously, if you bring your finger down like that, you're going to choke the air off. So you just got to place your fingers like that. And it's very comfortable to thumb or trigger finger fire. 
I do find myself firing it both ways. So I actually do like the button layout. <clears throat> when I first got the Delro, um, it took me a minute to get used to this button placement because your thumb lays over it like this. Or if you're righty, like this. And it was not natural for me. I am used to it now. I do like it a lot now. I am fully used to it. But right off the rip, the knocked, like from day one, the knocked felt natural and comfortable in my hand. Now, with that, with those out there, we have the last parts that really, in my opinion, separate these. So the thickness, how thick they are this way is about the same. It's, it's hundreds of millimeters different. <clears throat> However, your height, the height difference, the Noct is one millimeter shorter and the Delro is a very tiny mod. The Noct is one millimeter shorter and the Noct is two millimeters thinner from left to right. And it doesn't sound like a big deal, but the height doesn't, I don't notice the height. It's the two millimeters from left to right that I notice, because when you're holding it in your hand like this, it just feels a little bit smaller than when you're holding the Delro like this. You can definitely feel the two millimeters when you're, when you're holding the Noct. I don't know the weights. I don't have a scale here, but I would go out on a limb and say that the Noct is just a hair lighter than the Delro. And that's loaded or non-loaded either way. Okay, so that's all. That's enough on comparisons. <clears throat> as far as the finish goes on this, all right, last comparison. Finish on this because I had multiple people ask me already, what's, what's better quality? the Noct or the Delro. Um, when I got my Delro, that was top-notch quality, no issues uh, with the first one. The second one, I had a couple small issues that are now fixed. <clears throat> no issues with this Noct at all. The finish is beautiful on it. It did not come with one scratch, blemish, or anything of that nature. Um, so I'm 100% happy with this guy. It it came very well finished. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and just uh, throw a boro in there. Show you what it looks like. And mob mini and flush nut that is provided. No issue with connection while using the flush nut. There's that. Drip tip. All right, this is why I love the clear or frosted. You can see that boro in there. Looks super, super nice. Love it. Um, the only thing that I will say, I love these whistle tips. The, these are the never normal big, the big whistle tip. This is like my favorite tip to use on a Boro device. Um, with the Delro, because you're holding it like this, you know, or like this, you're always putting your, your up to your mouth this way. With the Noct, I would recommend a, a round drip tip. Uh, for me, I don't know what way I would set the whistle tip on this. <laughs> I just, because of the button placement and the screen, I just think this mod looks better with a round tip. I tried my whistles and I'm just not a fan of whistles on this particular mod. Um, so I run a round drip tip on this. Uh, we're not gonna do an up top because I really feel like there's no need for it with the mod. I'm just gonna cut that out because I really don't think many people even make it to the up top. 
my opinion on this mod is if you like the Delro, um, uh, the Delro is my favorite mod. This is now side by side with the Delro. I, I like them both comparably. Um, I have no issues with either company, nor do I plan to have any issues with either company. Um, the, the fact of the matter is that this mod in my hand right here is a good mod at the end of the day. It has advantages over the Delro. And the Delro has a couple advantages over this mod. So this mod to me does hold its own place in the market. Um, and it, it was, is, is made very, very well. Quality is top notch, worth the money. Um, it's coming in a, a lot of different colors that you can't get a Delro in. So that is, is something that I feel like they're kind of catering towards. So yeah. I hope there is no salty people after this video. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. I'm going to take a hit, let you hear the airflow. Normal, no issues, smooth Boro airflow. That's the mob with a three millimeter airflow pin. So yeah, that's that. RRP 550 for this, uh, Ultima 600. If you're not in the Noct group, shoot me a message. I'll invite you if you cannot find it. Other than that, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions whatsoever, just shoot me a PM on Facebook. I'm under Ryan Adams. And that's that. Everybody have a great night.